Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in our, our Hannah Carlson, um, I forgot what the book was called, <laughs> Seasons um, video series. Um, we've got just three left, we're going to do the little acorns today, as you would have seen if you looked at the video thumbnail. Just going to come in close and uh, get going with that one. Now we have a gemstone in one of our acorns and a sort of normal nut in the other one. What we're going to do is I think I'll start with the base parts first because I'll do them the same and then we'll work on what we're going to do here. So I like normally when I'm doing an acorn to do this a sort of orangey brown and these quite a dark brown so that's what I'm going to do. Just stick with what I usually do. So I'm using my Arteza Experts again. So I've got a cocoa brown and I'm just going to get going really and uh, just put a layer of colour on here and have a think. I think it's going to be darker here. We have got a few lines drawn here to indicate it'll be a bit darker so that's what I'm going to do. Now for each of these I'm going to actually colour each one separately but not yet. <laughs> just going to put a little bit of a base colour down quite gently like this and then and then do what I want to do is make them darker at the base and you'll see why as we move up at the bottom it's not so obvious apart from the fact that from the shape of it it might they might be a bit darker but here where they overlap it's going to be there's going to be more shadow here where they're near the other one so the idea is to try and put some more layers of brown down at the bottom. And we're just going to work through all of them in the same way and then move to the other one and do the same. There's going to be a lot of the same little bits. But uh, anyway, I hope everyone's well. It's actually um, still October. I think these videos probably be going out in November. Getting a little bit of head of myself, which is nice, just because got no one in at them today doing work. The children are home for half term but they're um, doing their homework so if I get out of the way and um, they can't hear me chattering on at them which I tend to do then <laughs> they can concentrate hopefully and uh, I can get a few videos made which is nice. Um, <clears throat> hopefully by the time this goes out the kitchen will be done but I know that um, my neighbour said hers took six months to be finished and I'm feeling like mine might now. And it was starting in August and we're already towards the end of October and it's still not... I mean, it's usable, which is brilliant, but it's not finished. I've got quite a long list of things that need to be done. So uh, it's a bit annoying, but hey, it will come. I'm a lot less impatient than I used to be, <laughs> so... That's good. There we go. That's that one. I hope you can sort of see that they're a bit lighter on the tip. We're going to do the same with this one. I'm just going to hold the page down a little bit. We're near, working near the spine in a new book. Sometimes it tends to not lie very flat. But I don't like to force it open too much. You never know. I don't know with these books how strong they are. I think they're sewn. I can see glue in the spine. I don't know if they're sewing. If a book's just glued, it can um, come apart. If there's stitching as well, even if the glue breaks, it tends to hold. But it's best not to take a risk and uh, squash it down too much, unless you're happy for the pages to come out. I know some people want to take them out and frame them. That's a whole different thing. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. I've just been actually um, doing some Facebook posts ready for December. I know, I know. I've made a little advent, a fun advent posts for you. Um, the 24 days of my colouring must-haves. I thought it would be a bit of fun. You can just have a look at what sorts of things I like to use. And I've put some affiliate links on there too in case you want to go and have a little investigate on Amazon. Or wherever it is that I buy them from. This pencil doesn't want to work. Come on. I um, <laughs> don't know what's going on. So uh, that was fun. Uh, it's a little video reveal of an item each day. 
for you. Um, so that was good. Um, I've got a plan um, what colouring I'm doing over Christmas. Um, you may, yeah, you probably have seen, I've got a couple of Christmas books. What I've got, Rita Berman's Winter Book. I've got um, A Nice Little Town Christmas 2, which I was sent, which is lovely, and a Matchstick Mouse Christmas book that I was sent, which again is lovely. So there'll be some pictures coming out of those. But I was hoping to find something Adventy. Like last year I did Rita Berman's Advent page and the year before I did Johanna Basford's Advent page. So I'm thinking about what to do. But it seems my brain isn't quite in Christmas mode yet. I don't know about you. I'm just choosing my brown for this one. I think we'll, we'll use, this is quite a nice rich red brown, the Sienna brown. It's quite a nice autumnal colour. It's probably what we used at the top for the... Um, these I call them seed pods I think in my on my notes that might be what I call them in the video description but we'll put this down we'll see I think actually it doesn't look the same color we might have used something slightly more orangey maybe we used the ochre or the cinnamon I can't remember it isn't the same so that's good it's quite nice to use slightly different colors even if they're quite similar so what I'm doing here is I'm just putting a layer down of this to start with and then we'll think about light and shade so where these overlap we've put a shadow here on every one so we need to do it here as well so I'm just going to go gently along and add in a little shadow it's not going to be very thick line like that just a thin line now I think <clears throat> excuse me the bottom I feel will be a bit darker like that where it would be more shady also thinking about the shape of our acorn and take it up a little bit but light lighter like that I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge here I sometimes think just having a dark bit on both edges helps to make it look more three-dimensional like that now <clears throat> I'm going to add another color I'm just going to go back in with the cocoa brown that we were using for the base just to emphasize this shadow down at the bottom it's just going to be a little layer and faded up a little bit like that Ooh, let's just fill in that bit there we go Maybe just a little bit up here. I'm not going to put any along there because that's the colour we used. It's a bit too close. Now I want something slightly brighter. I'm just having a look. I might just go for this. <clears throat> this is the um, burnt ochre. Oops. It's a bit more orangey reddish. Let's have a go. This probably is the colour we used on the uh, seed pods. I just want it to look, I'm probably going to add a bit of yellow in a minute. It looks a little bit dull. I want to keep that shine area going. Um, what yellow? Oh, there's some brownie yellows. Maybe the yellow ochre might be a good one. Yeah, let's try this. <clears throat> I'm just going to add it all over because it will brighten all of it. But we can especially put a bit on this area that I want to look more shiny I'm just putting it on a little bit thicker here and here so we've got a warmth but not but it's still a bit of a shine I'm just gonna add more bringing it together it's a bit slow I'm just going adding a few more layers until I'm happy there we are might look a little bit yellow now but actually I rather like the color so I'm gonna leave it like that now we have this one this is a gemstone I've gone out of the lines so I'm just gonna erase a little bit um, so this is a gemstone and 
the colour is, I'm thinking hard. I could do it the colour of the this one nut, but I'm really not sure which colour I would choose. Could do it orange, more orangey. Um, could do it red. <laughs> mm. Maybe we could try doing it sienna. But would it look? Yeah, let's let's do it this way. Yeah, let's try. If you don't like it, you can choose your own colour. I'm going to try doing a sienna brown gemstone. I've never tried this before. Now I've got all these facets, and what I'm going to do is mainly make it darker at the bottom here and fade it up a bit like that. Actually, I'm just going to test this colour, see if I can put a white pen on it, because if I can't, I might change my mind. Looks like it. Okay. What I did there was I scribbled a bit onto my scrap paper that's beside me and uh, to see whether I could um, put a wet white shine line on the um, gem. I'm going to keep it really simple and probably use the same way of colouring each one so that hopefully it'll work and it's easier so you can see what I'm doing making it darker by adding more layers at the bottom and less at the top on each of the little facets because I don't think they're going to be facing it particularly in too many different directions you know it's quite an odd colour for a gemstone isn't it but I'm hoping once we put some white on it will work as I say, if you don't like it, you can um, choose a different colour for yours. Oh, I'm going to also use the same colour to do these circular bits. I don't know what these are supposed to be. But what I'm going to do is colour them quite firmly, quite intense, and then put a dot of white to make it maybe look like there are little gems in themselves. So I've got my jelly roll, and uh, we're going to work on some... We'll do this one first, so I'm going to put a bit of white at the top of each one where I faded it. I think. Now what I find when I'm doing pen like this is that sometimes the pen doesn't write very well and you have to scribble on a rough piece of paper, which I'm just going to do now. I'm going to put a few lines on the darker areas. I think sometimes the nib gets clogged with pencil and sometimes it just gets clogged with paint so you just have to be aware and uh, just sometimes scribble it, get it going a little bit. It happens with all brands of pen, it's not just these jelly rolls. Hmm. Let's do a little bit more, there's not enough white showing up, it's not bright enough for my liking. Bit more. It's quite difficult to add white to white because if the paint's not dry it rubs it off and even if it is dry it can scratch it off so it's um, it's better to get it right first time if you can. But there we go. I'm going to leave that there. I think that maybe actually the um, Posca might have been better. I'm just going to try it. Sorry I shook the whole desk then. Sometimes it's just a bit brighter because it's a bit of a thicker nib, it can put down a more, um, I wouldn't say assertive, splodge of white. There we go. So there are our acorns. So it's a little bit different. As I say, if you don't like the brown um, gemstone, go for red. I would go for red or blood orange. Something like that would probably look work really well and look a bit more like a proper gemstone. This is a little bit um a little bit milky maybe but anyway i had fun and it's nice to try something a little bit different so thank you for watching um i hope you enjoy your day and pop back um
for the next one. I'm not sure when it'll be, whether it's tomorrow or not. It depends on the date and uh, whether it's Monday planner day or, or what's quite going on. But anyway, thank you for watching today and happy colouring. <laughs>